Have you guys ever seen that Staples commercial? Do the shopping car. Imagine if you were doing that at like Walmart while you're in the middle of school shopping. I wanted to do a school essentials video, even though I what I never graduated but even though I don't go to school anymore school essentials are pretty much basic I went to Target yesterday it was hella hella packed at Target I mean some of these kids need Adderall seriously who gets excited about a lead pencil it's like little girl don't linger around trying to see which notebook has the best one direction picture on it because this was the last one okay. so it was totally major chaos at back to school but I'm glad I went because I miss Cool. Well, I don't think I've ever told you guys, but when I was little, I actually had aspirations to be a teacher. So I used to always set up my whole garage like it was a classroom. I set up like fake chairs and I spent hours just talking to myself and it was like living the dream. So Target has a bunch of really cute backpacks right now. And one of these I'm actually going to keep, but one, one's kind of in a pro. We're talking this one, like, is this legal for school? I was actually looking for like a turtle shell backpack, not from Ninja Turtles. Mm. He used to have a big ass Hello Kitty rolling backpack, except till one day some stupid little boy kick crooked my wheels but I thought this was real cute I've always liked like roomy backpacks you know and this is probably mostly I'd go for for much more mature this is a sunflower backpack so this just comes with one big pocket and I like things that are not zipper because sometimes my hair gets caught in it let's get into the stuff me and this girl shared a locker together and she was very much more on like the emo side and I was more of like the Hello Kitty side so basically we drew like a division in our locker and hers were all black up top and mine was all pink at the bottom so when I was at Target I saw some pink stuff and these were the last accessories that they had and I was like oh no this little girl ain't no way her mother's gonna buy her no chandelier for her locker chandelier it's so cute <clears throat> okay don't break oh, no, no. Okay, so here, so here's a little chandelier. This is crooked. Here's what it looks like. Look how cute that is. And it actually comes with the lights right here, so you can turn it on with this thing. I actually wanted to show you guys like how to decorate your locker, but I'm not gonna go bust in some random school and open up some little girl's locker. I also got like one of these racks where you can hang your books, and it comes with a little caddy right here. And you could actually draw in the mirror. Well, you always have like in between periods, so come to your locker and stir at yourself. The last thing I got for a locker is this locker organization thing, which I thought was so convenient. And it's got another mirror. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. It's actually a bigger mirror. Hello. Oh, by the way, I got a new, not a new camera. I got a new lens from a camera, so I kept the lens, but lost the body. So moving on to back to school stuff, I've always found it very essential to always have like your own water bottle. So I think it's essential to just bring your own water bottle that has a a thermos filtration bottle. I don't like to drink public water. When I was little, I almost died from amoeba. So drinking clean water is really important. And it has a filtration, fil whatever. How does this work? <laughs> oh, I broke it. No. Yes. <gasps> really? Oh, I guess you put your water in there and just push this spine right here. And there you have. Oh, another thing that I showed you guys was a cute thing to have. It's one of these like mason jar mugs and it's so cute. It's like a candy cane. Okay, what dog bit this? So I got this binder. I've always found that these kinds of binders were much more useful. I mean, you used to use one of those folders where it had like the plastic thing in the front and it'd be like a shrine of your boyfriend. One is actually better quality because it's last longer. And here's like a little clipboard so you can post your classroom rules in here. And I was never one to have like one big spiral notebook for every subject because that's confusing. I'd have one for math class and this would be for doodling. And my biggest spiral notebook was always my English one so this is so cute. I remember silent reading everybody read Twilight series. In English class I always pretended to read the dictionary. Oh yeah I would always bring like like gossip magazines to school because I never liked to read. I like to read about other people's lives. And so since health and fitness is important to me, I got this book called Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. It's by Marina Mununos, you know, the hottie hottie with the body. So if I'm gonna buy a book I wanna read, it has to be something that's educational or something to do with gossip. So I actually was just browsing through this book last night and it's actually a pretty good book. So I suggest you pick up on it because it's 20% off. So Target sells like really cheap pencil boxes. And when I went to Finham, I did a lot of art projects. I've kept like, you know, pens, my art pens, in here, twistable colored pencil thingies. I'll stipe, I'll stipe, I'll. Last but not least is I always, always have like a little clutch that I kept in my backpack for essential things. So here's a little pouch I got from Target, really cheap. <laughs> I basically was just keep things that are like really important. Sewing kit. Sometimes I raise my hand in class and there's a big hole on my shirt. You never want to come across a nippage slippage.
damage. So pasties are the boobies best friend. Stain fighter pens and of course the monthly souvenir. Always bring more than one. If not, start buying jumbo. So yeah guys, those were my back to school essentials. Oops, my camera freaked out, but I will see you guys next time. Happy shopping. Love you.